capacitance manometer, also known as the process gauge. Let's hit channel setup. And not much to do in here. Um, you know, a lot of the stuff is defining what kind of gauge it is. You know, this is the range that the gauge is defined for, or designed for, and then all the proper input voltages. Really, the only thing in here would be manual zero. So, let me just back out of here for a second. So right now, we're not reading a zero. It's just kind of bouncing around mm -hmm. with some noise. Um, so really, when you're at a base pressure, or at, at your best base pressure, this should be saying zero. Um, uh -huh. If not, then you can, can, can set it. Um, it should really be done when this is below one by ten to minus six, which we're getting there. But uh, but I'll still demonstrate. So going to channel setup, we go down to manual zero. We change the no to a yes. And so to make sure your pressure is less than one times ten to minus six, press enter to execute. I'll just uh -huh. go ahead and do it anyway here. But now it's, it's zero. zero. It's zero again later. So that's the only thing that to do with that third only thing gauge. to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But this one is probably the most critical gauge to zero because that's your process gauge. So that have the tightest um, accuracy repeatable accuracy on your mm. process. Okay. You want that to be zero. Yep. Uh, 